Hello and welcome to Excel 2016. In this tutorial, we're going to highlight some of the new enhancements to Microsoft Excel. So let's get started with one of the best features since Excel 2013. So if you have typed data before, you know how cumbersome that can be, especially when you have to update information. Uh, let's say by the hundreds. So with the new flash fill, you can flash fill your data. You begin by typing out and let Excel, you know, finish all the work. Meanwhile, you get to take full credit. So in this particular example, I have a list of emails. So I'm going to begin uh, by typing out a first name, such as Nancy, and then if I press enter and then I type out, let's say I type out Andrew, before I begin to finish typing out the person's name, Excel assumes I want to type in the first name Andrew. And then because of flash fill, it also assumes that I want to finish the remaining neighboring cells with the first name. So that's what the purpose of flash fill is. It definitely helps and it will facilitate data entry. So what you do, you press enter and it fills in the remaining cells. So next, we're going to take a look at the quick analysis feature. Great way to do a quick data analysis. So let's suppose you want to figure out a grand total. So here we have quarter sales, one and two. So if I were to highlight these two columns, all right, there's our new feature, quick analysis. So you click on that. And then you'll notice several different choices, such as formatting, charts, totals, tables, and spark lines. So if I go to totals, and let's suppose I just want to do a sum. Click on to sum, and voila. Very easy and quick. Very efficient tool. Next, we're going to take a look at the enhancements that were made from the previous version of Excel 2016 to the current version 2016 recommended charts. And this is great for someone who has really, you know, used charts, but has not really understood the differences between the many different types of charts. So if you're not really up to speed on charts, let Excel make the recommendation. And nine times out of 10, the recommendation is right. So you start out by highlighting your data. You just go in and select it, whatever you plan on using. And then you activate your insert tab and you'll notice in the chart section, a new button called recommended charts. So if you don't know what chart you should use, let Excel make the recommendation. After all, Microsoft, they're the subject matter experts. Right? So these are the charts that Excel recommends. So you can go through, see what's there. If you like this one, you click it. There's a preview there. Click OK. And before you know it, you will have a new chart. So the chart can be moved so it doesn't block any data. Next, we're going to take a look at this last segment. Uh, it's, it's really a nice enhancement to how we've been using help over the years. So you're an expert, basically. So on the ribbon, you have that little light bulb. So let's suppose you really don't know a whole lot about auto filter, but a friend told you about it. <coughs> then you press enter. So let me just click OK to that. And let's see here. Create a filter. Okay, all the choices are right there. Of course, you can still access help, too, if, if it's not really helping you much. So basically, you just tell Excel, what is it you're trying to do? So if I go on to cell F4, and I go up and click in the light bulb area, and I just type sort, next thing you know, everything about sorting data appears. Sort, descending. And it does it for you. That's absolutely amazing. Not only does it tell you how to do it, but it does it for you. Now, if that's too fast for you, 
then you might want to begin using the old-fashioned help. Um, and of course, there's nothing wrong with that. Keyboard shortcuts, that's also helpful too. See that? So if you're trying to increase productivity, one way to do that is to start learning all the shortcut keys for Office 2016 Excel. And right away, they will appear. You can print this out and use it in your own office. So those are some of the new enhancements of Excel 2016. If you do want to learn much more than what we've gone through, you may want to go into Excel 2016 Go to File, to New, and click Take a Tour, Welcome to Excel, and go down to the very last Worksheet tab where it says Learn More, and that way you can learn all the new bells and whistles, especially the new Excel BI, Business Intelligence, features. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I thank you for your time, and remember, knowledge is power. Practice makes perfect. Repetition, repetition.